Uh, hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Nightbringer, but you can call me Knight. This is part three to the little series I have. If you haven't watched parts one and two, I suggest watching those as well. Uh, you don't have to watch them to understand anything in this video, but it supports me a bunch and I really appreciate it. Anyway, this video is covering the cats outside of ThunderClan in the first series. Uh, these are only the major side characters like Leopard Star and Bone and Crooked Star. Um, Stuff like that. Um, as always, warning for flashing lights since this is it. Since this is a speed paint. Also, uh, warning for all Warrior Cats book spoilers. I don't try to caution myself when it comes to spoilers. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Ugh, Ragged Star. Definitely not my favorite cat. I really like Yellowfang's secret, but Ragged Star has issues Yellowfang did not need to be dragged into. He's such a brat. He doesn't take no for an answer, making Yellowfang feel guilty for things she shouldn't even be involved in. If there's one thing Broken Star did right, it was killing this cat. Uh, for his design, I went with a thick, stocky build and a snarl on his face. He looks a bit like what I imagine Oak Star looks like. Ew, this cat is so gross. He gives me Thistleclaw vibes in terms of children, if you know what I mean. Um, imagine if he didn't have a broken tail and he was still named Broken Kit. Everyone would be like, why Broken Kit? Uh, also, no one uh, was no one confused when Ragged Star randomly brought a kit into the camp claiming it was his? Like, especially since he has kitty pet backgrounds, I feel like it should have been more of a big deal. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Um, anyway, for his design, I basically drew Ragged Star with a mustache. His colors are literally yellow fang and ragged pelts mixed together. Sorry for all the negativity at the start of this video, I do not like these cats. mixed feelings on Blackstar. I haven't read his novella, but I know it's about his quote-unquote redemption arc. He was so easily swayed by Soul too, like, just because you haven't gotten a text back shouldn't mean you need to starve the children. I made him look very bear-like. I got a comment on his Instagram post that made me realize we all tend to give Blackstar little bear ears. I wonder where that trait came from, and who started it. Wow, all the first Shadow Clan leaders kind of sucked, didn't they? However, I do feel bad for Nightstar, but I also feel like he wasn't the best cat to be made leader. Um, I don't know who else could have been a better fit, to be honest, but he was pretty old and I feel like he should have just stayed an elder. His design was very simple. I don't like how I did his mouth and his pose was pretty challenging to pull off. I didn't give him uh, the leader star on his forehead for obvious reasons. I feel like if the cats did have stars on their foreheads as leader in the books, um, at his first gathering as quote unquote leader, Nightstar would have been called out for it uh, or something like that. I always forget Boulder and Russet Fur came to Shadow Clan together, so I drew them together in this as apprentices. Uh, this was really hard to draw, and I had to use multiple references to get it just right. This drawing blew up when I posted on Instagram, so thank you for that. I can't really say much about Boulder. He's a nice, kind, gentle cat, at least in Yellow Fang's secret. I can't remember anything major from him in the main series, though. Uh, I'm not Russet Fur's biggest fan, but I do like her character, at least in Yellow Fang's secret. She's so aggressive in the main series, though. Even though I don't like her too much, her death was what started my hatred for Lion Blaze. Ugh. 
This sweetheart, I can't. I love running nose so much. He's such a sweetie and he just deserves so much more. I bet he was a great medicine cat, but like, what was his illness? Like genuinely, was he always sick? Do you think he was like allergic to pine needles or something? I love his scene with Fireheart, although I can't remember when it is. I just know Fireheart is like questioning him about Shadow Clan and Running Nose is like, why should I tell you anything? But like in his sweet little way. I love this cat. I wish we'd see more of him. I made him really skinny in his fur and skin kind of droopy, like he's thin from his illness. I love how he came out. Ugh, how is this cat Nightstar's brother? I don't like how he was seen as a quote unquote good guy that was manipulated by Broken Star in Nightstar's graphic novel. Let us have morally wrong characters! I don't really have anything to say on this, uh, on his murder of Spotted Leaf though. For his design, I was able to make his face look exactly like how I see him in my head somehow. I don't like how I colored him or his actual pelt design though. Also, his face scars were kind of hard to figure out. Little Cloud is a cutie. He's so sweet. I'm sure he got it from Running Nose. Uh, I gave him a little flower crown. I don't know what kind of flowers he's wearing, literally just drew some random flowers, but I feel like they compliment him very well. On to Wind Clan. I love Tallstar. His Super Edition is one of my favorite Warrior Cats books of all time. His relationship with Jake is cute, though it's implied that they aren't even t they won't be able to even be together in Star Clan. I hope they can meet on like a border between Star Clan and elsewhere if that's even possible. Fun fact: Tallstar is my sister's favorite Warrior Cat character. She hasn't read a single Warrior Cats book, but she loves a piece of fan art I showed her once. I don't know who the artist is, so I won't show it on screen since I can't credit them. I can't tell if he's running or floating here, but my reference looks like a taxidermied cat, so I don't know. I really like how he came out, though. Deadfoot is a strange cat. He's very bipolar in the books, but I think that's just the changing of the authors. I'm sad we never got to see a dead star, as having a disabled cat as leader would be pretty cool. I loved him in his enthusiasm as Hopkit, though Heatherstar's renaming of him was so rude, it might be one of the most ableist things in Warrior Cats that I've seen so far. I know the timeline problems with him and Crowfeather, but I don't have anything to say about it that you probably haven't heard else, uh, somewhere else. His design was very simple, and I used the colors from old art I have of him. Barkface! Before you go down and comment, yes, I know he has a short tail in the books, but I forgot about that while drawing this, and I love this drawing too much to change it, even though I know it's a simple fix. Let's just say this is a personal interpretation, okay? Okay, anyway, um, this is one of my favorite drawings in this series. I love him so much. Also, his character is great. I love his relationship with Tallstar. Um, it's nice seeing two cats just being friends and acting like it and having no romantic anything, no angsty anything, it's so nice. Um, Barkface's brother Shrewpelt, I think his name is, it could be Shrewpelt or Shrewclaw, I don't remember, um, is actually my second favorite character in the entire series behind Leafpool, but I'll be drawing and talking about that cat in Tallstar's Revenge video when I get to it. I find it embarrassing that I don't know his name, like 100%. Not my favorite cat. I don't like One Star one bit, you could say. I hate him as a warrior and a leader. To be fair, I haven't read his super edition yet, but it's coming up on my list. He's so arrogant and proud and I just can't sympathize with him. 
He's so full of himself. Just thinking about him right now is making me mad. He's my third least favorite character before Bumble Stripe, uh, and Bram uh, Bumble Stripe and Bramble Star. Uh, the only good thing about him was making a son who made the greatest book in the series, Shattered Sky, a thing. Uh, I really don't like how I drew him here, but a bad character gets a bad design, am I right? I can't remember anything about Morningflower, to be honest. I made her really pretty, though. Gorsepot is a cute cat. He didn't deserve to die, and I wish we could have seen him as a warrior. I gave him Peter Pan hair. We stan Ashfoot for leader in this house. Her design is very simple. I gave her Jay Feather's eyes. I wish we could have seen more interactions with her and Crowfeather, or her and One Star and Morningflower, since uh, they're litter mates. I haven't read One Star's Confession yet, so I can't say anything on Whitetail's character in that, but I loved her on the journey to find the beavers in The Fourth Apprentice. Also, being One Star's mate, why didn't we see anything of her or her reaction when Darktail came in? I think she's more prominent in that time in One Star's Confession, but from what I've heard, doesn't she just forgive him? Why can't male char why can male characters get away with everything in these books with no repercussions? Uh, she has a very simple design, and just being a white cat, I gave her. Uh, Heather Tail's eyes to spice it up a little since she's Heather Tail's mother. Riverclan time! I could talk about my love for Crooked Star for ages, but I won't bore you all with that. He's such a genuinely nice guy, and I feel like him and Whitestorm or Lionheart fall in the same category of genuinely nice people who actually stepped up, not because they wanted to, but because they had to. I love his super edition, and I love reading how he was manipulated by Maple Shade. I really like his relationship with Blue Paw, and I wish they could have been mates instead of Oakheart and her. I feel like Crooked Star's relationship with Silverstream is uh, hardly touched on. I've drawn Crooked Star in the past, all being mildly embarrassing to look at now, uh, and combined some traits from those drawings into this one. I feel like his character changed drastically in Leopard Star's Honor, but I guess they had to justify his actions in the first series somehow. Also, as someone with a broken jaw, I quite like the relatable aches and pains he gets, especially in cold weather. Um, when I run for a bit, my jaw starts to hurt too. One time my dog uh, got loose and we had to chase her in the dark and it was like winter time. Uh, I was with my mom and my sister. When we got back, my dog was fine by the way, we had to put uh, hand warmers on my cheeks and I slept with a heating pad pressed against my face since my jaw hurt so bad. That was not a fun day. True story. I'm conflicted with my feelings on Oakheart. On one hand, he's a stuck-up-his-own character and the clan's heartthrob, uh, but on the other, at least in Blue Star's prophecy, he's a kind, gentle, sarcastic cat with genuine love for Boofer. I'm conflicted. I drew him first in the water, hated it, redrew him, hated it, then gave up and posted it anyway. Uh, like the elders, Running Wind and Princess, Oakheart in my mind isn't a very important character, like, he isn't- He's so popular, but he's like, he doesn't, he doesn't do much, you know? So I felt like his design was good enough and called it at that.
I have no thoughts on Stonefur. He isn't really a character, is he? Um, he's hardly touched on and his sister is so much more popular than him. No thoughts on this cat. His design was very simple and I like how smooth he looks in the end. Thank god this cat is finally dead! I know that's harsh, but she was so old and so stubborn! Her character changes a million times throughout the books, and she feels like a character the authors can grab whenever they need a random cat to play a random role. She kicked Mothwing out for being half-clan. Girl, who are your parents again? I struggled on her pose for a while, but eventually settled. Her design is very blue since I made her with my first blue star design in mind, but I didn't change it later since I quite liked how she looked with the darker blues. This one is embarrassing. I didn't have a design for Kits yet, and my first drawing for her was... I don't like it very much. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I genuinely debated cutting it out. Um, I quickly redid it and found my adorable Kit style. I don't really have any thoughts on uh, Moss Kit's character, though I cried during her death, but I cried a lot in Blue Star's Prophecy. Okay, first, this speed paint is a little long, so I'll try to talk as much as I can about this cat. I don't like Silverstream. She's stuck up, bratty, and so, like, snotty. Like, we get it, you're rich and your dad is cool, but like, shut up, you aren't going to survive in the real world, in the real world, you know? I'm sorry if you like Silverstream, but I just cannot reason with her. I know so many people stuck up their own, like her in real life, and I don't like them. I wish Silverstream was a villain so I could justify me not liking her. However, I do have an AU I've written a little about a uh, Silverstream X Sandstorm inspired by uh, Befalumps. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, I'll link their Twitter in the description. Um, I don't think I've ever wanted to give up being an artist more than when I was drawing this. For some reason, I just could not get her design right to save my life. I still don't like how I drew her, but I gave up. What frustrated me the most is that I hate Silverstream so much and I was so angry at my struggles for her. Why did I need to struggle so much for such an awful character? I genuinely can't remember anything about Stormfur, to be honest. All I know is his point of view was super boring and his crush on Squirrelflight was kind of random. Uh, his design was very, uh, fairly easy. I literally just used the darkest colors from my first gray stripe drawing on Stormfur. I'm pretty sure the like Stormfur's like base pelt color um, is gray stripes striped color in my first drawing with him. I quite like Feathertail. I wish we'd see more of her relationship with Crowfeather from her perspective, especially since it sometimes feels like Crowfeather just had an unrequited crush and Feathertail was just being nice. Her snotty attitude in the newer books is a little weird, although I guess she's been spending a lot of time with her mom. Um, after the nightmare of Silverstream's drawing process, I was absolutely terrified of attempting Feathertail and it did not start out good. Um, luckily, at the end, she came out pretty good, in my opinion. Um, while I made Silverstream more blue, I made Feathertail more indigo purple to help provide visual contrast to the two, especially since they're always mentioned uh, to be looking so similar in the books. Also, I'll just say this now while I have the chance, um, I feel like Silverstream uh, and Graystripe's kits, like, okay, I don't know how to say this. This bit is unscripted, but basically, like, Feathertail is a she-cat in the books, and she looks just like her mom, who's also a she-cat. Like, just like her mom. Like, that's like a big plot point, right? And then Stormfur, 
He doesn't look just like Graystripe, but he looks really similar to Graystripe, and he's a Tom, and Graystripe's a Tom. I just, okay, personally, I wish that uh, there could have been some difference in their designs. It almost feels like the authors copied and pasted their uh, descriptions um, from Graystripe and Silverstreams to Feathertail and Stormfurs. I just wish their characters, or the, their children looked just a bit different, just to differentiate them. <laughs> you know, just, just a personal opinion, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on Sasha. I don't like or dislike her. her. Her design was very hard to do, strangely. I actually had to step away from Procreate for a week while drawing Sasha, especially after the Nightmare Silverstream was. I was burnt out and I needed a break. I came back and tried again, and although I didn't like how it came out, I settled with my Sasha design. I started my redraw of characters around the time of posting Sasha the first time, and actually posted her, quickly redrew her, and deleted my post of her before posting what her final design is. Um, also, I know she doesn't actually wear a collar in the books, but I put one on her anyway. No thoughts on Tadpole. His design is cute. Hawk Frost is the ultimate gay cat. You can't get gayer emo cat from Warriors. Um, Hawk Frost is one of my favorite characters, although I think my perspective with him has been morphed a little bit by the fandom, especially since it's been over a year since I read anything with him in the main series. I really wish we could have seen his perspective at least once. I would love to know what uh, glorified Tiger Star so much in his mind. I feel like it couldn't have been Sasha, although I feel like she helped, since Mothling isn't so mesmerized. Maybe I'm forgetting something. I first drew Hawk Frost with a big mane, and I kind of liked it for a while, but I redrew it before posting him for the first time. In his new design, um, I made him look a bit more wet looking and skinnier, almost as if he had just come out of the closet. Almost as if he had just come out of the water, but the water is invisible. Um, I had a really specific idea of what I wanted him to look like in my head, as you can see uh, in that little headshot that keeps popping up every now and then. Um, but I wasn't able to get it quite right in my first design for him. Luckily I got pretty close in my redraw. Also I gave him emo bangs. Okay, before I start, I need you to promise me that you won't scream and shout in the comments, okay? Promise. Pinky promise. Okay. I don't like Mothwing. At all. And... I don't like Mothpool. I think it's cute, but I don't like it. Wait, wait, put your pitchforks down, let me explain. Yes, Mothwing was beautiful, caring, and stuff, but for some reason I just don't like her? I say it as a question because I can't even give a good explanation for why. 
I don't know what it is about this cat, but I just really loathe her. It's not that she doesn't believe in Star Clan. Trust me, I'm with you on that one, sister. I just find her rude and annoying. She's so overrated, too. Um, I think the only time I really liked her was when she helped Jay Feather with the Burning Reeds prophecy thing. Um, I know she was out of character, but I hated how she acted with Shadow Sight. Um, and her character in uh, Starless Clan has been really aggravating. To be fair, I haven't read Mothwing's Secret yet, but I doubt it'll change my view of her very much. Anyway, I really like my design for her. reading Leopard Star's honor right now. I don't like it, but I'm reading it. Leopard Star needs a taste of her own medicine. I'm pretty sure, uh, or I pretty much feel the same way about her as I do Black Star. Not good. Her design is very unique and I had no idea how to draw it without making it too complicated. Um, I gave her a huge fluffy mane that I imagine makes her look huge when she's angry. Um, although uh, this isn't how I see her in my head, like, at all, this was as close to her as I could get. My design for her was heavily influenced by Sunny Falls' design for her, as well as the map Cleopatra by Kulta. I apologize for if I mispronounced that. Um, links to those in the description. I don't have too much to say about Barley, besides the fact that I like how he took in Ravenpaw. I wish we'd see more slash any of his relationship with Blue Star or Blood Clan. How'd Blue Star know and trust Barley, but Tiger Claw had no idea who he was? Suspicious. Anyway, his design is very basic, being a black and white cat. I feel like this. Uh, I feel like his eyes are a bit too low on his face, though. Emo Cat. The classic evil man is Tiny Man. Scourge is quite funny. I love how we actually got a backstory for him, and his was arguably one of the most understandable ones out there. I'm not saying if you were bullied, killing people is justified, but <laughs> Scourge Scourge's backstory is very unique, and I really like it. I'd love to know what uh, Blood Clan was like under his rule, aside from all the violence. Did he care for any cat? Was Blood Clan an actually organized group? Or did cats just come and go as they please? What's Scourge's body count? So many questions. Um, I liked his first design, but I redrew it to make him look a bit smaller. Little tater tot. Bone is a very popular character, but I literally can't remember a single thing he does besides confuse Firestar that he's leader and then die to a bunch of traumatized teenagers. Um, I drew him pretty quickly since he's a very simple character, design-wise. I actually made him look pretty top-heavy by accident. Thank you. 
And that's part three. Next video will be the new Prophecy cast next Saturday, so stay tuned for that. If you like my content, please support me by liking, subscribing, commenting, anything. It takes a second for you, but it means so much to me, genuinely. Thank you all for the support that you've given me so far. Um, just the first video that I posted in this series has- it was literally like 24 hours ago about that I posted it at the time of recording this and it already has like 1,300 views and it just- so many comments and so much love and just thank you all so much. Um, links to my Instagram and Twitter will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment what you want to see from me and I'll see you all next time. Bye!